Hello everybody, it's Maltas here and welcome to my channel where I do indie game showcase videos and today we're gonna play a Gestalt Steam and Cinder which is a Metroidvania title set in post apo steampunk with some demons aspect. We are playing as Aletia, which is this redhead girl and we have to find Simon which is uh, some kind of boy doing something so we have to find him and stop it. This Tesla Clocks uh, needs a charge so we're gonna get it later but as currently, as you can see, the game is really similar to the old Metroidvania games. There's a plenty of similarity to, for example, Castlevania. Well, it's quite obvious. And to be honest, because I'm, I'm doing courses on the Gadot, how to make games, I see a few things a little bit different than previously. And for example, if, when you have this bunny hopping from the walls, there is no sound of stepping on it. Well, and obviously, the starting point of the game is just uh, finding the target and then the shit hit the storm. Like these purple dots or cells, we're collecting our uh, experience points. We can, besides using sword, we can use a pistol, but to recharge it, we have to hit enemies, chests, or find a special machine that refills the energy for the bullet. And we found here a Simon doing something strange. Now we travel it in past or like in memories or something. To obtaining levels, later we're gonna get option to upgrade our character and obtain uh, new powers. Well, he's quite strong. Now we can use the like, upgrades because we have uh, unlocked the upgrade slot and now we can for example buy the increased blade damage by 5 which is great and gun damage also by 5. So we are obtaining these points by gaining levels and as you can see you can go a specific road to unlock certain skill you need. This locket things means that we're just connecting skills to open the path forward. So I didn't get to this point yet but probably assume that we have to unlock this skills here this skills here and this one to unlock this slot but i don't know how to move it to the spot i'm playing correctly demo so it's not everything here now we can speak with the durandal he's a board robot and he can assign us a small additional task that thanks to that we're gonna get some rewards like for example kill 10 clockwork shirts which has an enemy that has a shell but we can't pass here so we have to go different road there's a corgi there's a corgi to collect can collect him but in order to get him we have to go completely all around to another floor there's a machine that restores all energy as i told you before and in the game there's a uh, different types of machines like ones gives you experience other gives you health and more things this guy we're gonna upgrade our weapon allowing us to use the tesla locks it's gonna be handy oh here you have a lock work shield Die, you little robot. Die. Yes, I played the game before the recording this video to get known about the title. I think this approach will be better than just playing completely blind. You can tell in the comments what do you think. Like in typical Metroidvania game, we have to go from the floor to floor, from the room to room, access a few things, unlock other ones, get a key cards and more stuff. And when we're gonna go down here, there will be our friend. Oh, oh no! What is it? We can pet him, have a little dog, and we have to find a lost dog. Like in Metroidvania games, all the rooms are some, somewhat connected. You can find many secret passages and paths. Accessory is a, obviously a accessory that's gonna give us some benefits. So now let's equip the one we collected right now, which is a leather bracer. It gives us a res resistance plus 10%. It's better than nothing. I forgot to tell you that you can assign up to 4 or 5 items and you can swap them freely but i don't need them right now the only potions is my mandatory item let's avoid these traps have to avoid these electric traps and now we're gonna find a new type of enemy which is uh, this mini robot also we can unlock this shortcut here that will gonna get us back to the board with the durandal and the strange device we are 
we were standing before or we are using in the cutscene is currently our uh, saving point that heals us up like a celestro or energy and now we are doing fine we are doing great job so now we can proceed I have to get back because i was like nearly to level nine but there wasn't any enemy and i wanted before going further get another level and unlock some points yes this is a the lovely thing we have it's a mega mesh We have to use kinetic power to destroy the shield first. And then smack the shit out of the enemy. Yay! You said the mega mess. Yes! <laughs> is it over are we dead now now i'm gonna survive and that's the end of the gestalt steam and cider demo so Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this game. And if you want to test it by yourself, you can do this by going to the Steam page of the game. And also you can add the game to the wishlist. I hope I showed you a little bit how it goes and how the game goes. So if you want more videos about less known or upcoming indie games, don't worry. You can subscribe to my channel where I have a plenty of videos about the different type of indie games. And I hope we're going to see each other in the next video. Bye.